What's up, Chimmy Squad? Welcome back to our channel! If you guys are new here, I'm Shay. I'm Eunice. And you guys, we're finally back. We're back with some Jollibee. Yum! Before we get started, you already know what time it is. Time to give a shout out to the first five commenters that commented hashtag Chimmy Squad on our last mukbang. Big, big shout out to Isha Ram, Raiza Pevres, Anna Machuka, Sunny Gopal27, and Mishti's World. Yay! Yay! Thank you so much. Make sure to comment now for a shout out on our next mukbang. Comment right now. So we got a spicy chicken sandwich with palabak. We also got some adobo rice because you guys have been highly recommending that to us. We got some spicy chicken over here, some chicken tenders, spaghetti, another sandwich, and mashed potato. And you know we can't skip out on dessert. I got a peach mango pie this time and banana. Let's say grace. Amen. Amen. Okay guys, so we're gonna put the pies to the side, save it for later, for after. So guys, I know it's been a while, but this is our first mukbang following, you know, my birth. If you guys have not watched my birth labor vlog. So a Pepsi for me today, pineapple juice. Cheers. Mmm, mm, their pineapple juice is so good. Really? Yeah, you want some? You have like lipstick all over. You have lipstick too, so I don't want it to mesh. So why'd you ask me? I don't know. Let's dig in. Ooh, Jollibee is always a hit, so I'm excited. Oh yeah, you know, you guys, we actually ran into a subscriber while we were ordering this. We did. <gasps> Shout out to Liz from Jollibee. Thank you so Liz. much. Liz! Yeah. Honestly, like, we did not expect to run into anyone, so that was, like, kind of surprising for us. Yeah, honestly, if we came off a little bit awkward... <laughs> we were shy, we are like, we're shy. We're, I was shocked. I was like, oh, you watch our videos? I know, I was like, Thank oh. you. <laughs> and we sat down, we're like, oh, should we be like doing something? Like, should we be talking to her more? But she's like working and stuff. Yeah, but Liz, if you're watching this, it was really nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you. Thank you for subbing us. We need lemon juice for the pala box. Yeah, it's Vasco sauce from my spaghetti. <gasps> Sorry, it's it squirted onto the tenders. It's okay. Oh. Dude, okay. chill. Sorry, okay, sorry. Is there no dipping sauce for the tenders? Oh my gosh, you're right. It's our first time ordering the tenders, so we didn't know to ask for te um, dipping sauce or not. Yeah, for dipping sauce. No, I saw in the picture that there was like a pink dipping sauce. But I guess maybe we're supposed to ask for it? Possibly. If you guys have a dipping sauce you like eating at Jollibee, let us know. Yeah, go we'll get it below. next time. Do you mind if I pour a Tabasco in the Palabok? Palabok? We <laughs> said that's so why, isn't it? Like, Palabok? Palabok? Yeah, you said Palabok. I feel like fog when I kind of like speak like that. Kind of mix. It was actually really good last time when you put a lot of lemon juice. Right? If you guys haven't watched our previous Jollibee mukbang, make sure to check it out. Jollibee is one of our favorites, so we might be eating it repeatedly on this channel, but... I know, we were like, we already did Jollibee like twice, but... It's the like stomach a stomach wants what it wants. Yeah. You feel me? I actually got Jollibee at the hospital following Mila too. You did? Yeah. Dang, see? We went to the one in Eagle Rock Plaza. Because the one on Vermont was closed. They're always closed when we go over They're some always, reason. You always have the worst luck with Jollibee. It's true. But the good thing about this location was they had menu items we've never seen before. And we ran into Liz. Yeah, and we ran into Liz. Yeah. So. <laughs> it was like meant to be. Yeah. Okay, we're going to rearrange everything a little bit so it's easier mm -hmm. to eat. Okay, which one should we try first? Should we try the chicken sandwich first? Okay, fine. Okay. Ooh, I think we tried this one in the last mukbang. It has jalapeno inside. Mmm. Mmm. Last time we dipped it in the gravy nose bomb. Mm -hmm. It's so crispy. Oh, so much flavor. It has that Asian fusion taste like we said last time. Yeah. Mmm. Mind you guys, the drive was about like 37 minutes with traffic. So the fact that it's still crispy. I know, that says something. Mmm. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jalapeno in there. Mm. I kind of want to just take it out. I'm impatient. I know it's not. It's taking too long to get into our mouth. Mm. Mm. Oh, Jollibee never goes wrong. I want to dip it in the mashed potato and bring try it. it. Ooh, that sounds good. Right? Let me put some on my. Oh my. Gosh. Yeah, you gotta put some mashed potato. I never got mashed potato from here either, so. It's good. Oh, you tried it before? Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mmm. So good. Mmm. Mmm. It's such Jollibee's gravy is really good. Really good. It's like thick. It's kind of light. 
right? Mm. It's not too, like, salty and, like, dark. That's true. It doesn't taste like your typical fast food. Mm -hmm. Like, oily, greasy. Right. It's very light. (sighs) Should we try chicken tender? I've never tried this one. Oh, yeah. When I look at the picture, ooh, looks so good. They give us four, isn't it? Three piece? (gasps) We're so lucky today. Oh, my gosh. (laughs) Okay. So, we'll dip in the baby. Mmm. That's meaty. Mm-hmm. It's very meaty. Mmm. It's good, but I expected a little bit more. It's pretty good. I feel like maybe if there was a special dipping sauce for it, it would be even better. That's probably what it is. Yeah, I think we're missing like a sauce for it. But it's still good. Mm-hmm. It's already seasoned uh-huh. on its own. Mmm. There's a lot of chicken. Usually the breading is like overpowering the chicken. But yeah. Um, if it's too much breading and no chicken inside, you're getting robbed of meat, you know? That's actually a lot of chicken. Like. Mm-hmm. I need something saucy to follow it. I love the pala bug. It's so freaking good. I'm addicted to the sweet spaghetti now. Mm. The sausage inside is so bouncy. Mmm. I saw a YouTube video on how they make Filipino spaghetti. They put like banana ketchup or something. Right? Makes it like sweet. I wasn't a fan before, but now I'm addicted. When I first tried it, I didn't like it. After the second time, I got hooked. Yeah, something that you have to keep giving a try. Yeah. I feel like Jollibee in general, the more you eat it, the more appetizing it is. Mm. Mm. Oh, it's so lemony. Right? Mm, Mm-hmm. I like how the noodles just like kind of melt in your mouth. Yeah. It's like chapche, but mm-hmm. thinner. I really want to try the adobo rice. Oh yeah, let's try that. I've never tried this. It's my first time. I imagine it will be like soy sauce and vinegary like adobo. Yeah, someone commented that we should be getting this, so. Let's try. Mmm. Mm. It's good. Mmm. It's not like too salty though, so we should eat it with the chicken. Right, because we got extra white rice in case this would be too salty. But it's, it's not. not. That's a good side for the chicken. Like, yeah, it goes well together, I believe. Right. Ooh, spicy the best. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Oh, it's spicy today. I love it. Mm, mm-hmm, mm. It is. Mm. It's spicy. It's a trip. We got some for Angel. I hope he's okay downstairs. He's watching right. Mila right now. You can usually tolerate it, but... It's kind of spicy today. Today's is pretty spicy. Perfect for me, though. Mm, me too. Mmm. Mmm, that's really good. Let's try mashed potato. Wow. Mmm. That seasoned really well today. So good. Mmm. Basta. Mm-hmm. Mm. <clears throat> oh my gosh, I'm kind of scared. I have church after this. I'm going to get like food coma. Oh, you're going to fall asleep during I... the sermon for sure. <laughs> Lord, forgive me. <laughs> there is something in here. It's like, it looks like meat or something. Yeah, there's little pieces of meat in here, I feel like. Right? You doing Good. chicken? Oh, yeah. Let us know in the comments. <laughs> yeah, if you know, let us know. So I feel like a lot of subscribers are curious mm-hmm. as to what your reaction was when you first met Mila. Oh man, it's kind of indescribable actually. It's like, okay, it's not my child, but it's my niece. So it's like my flesh and blood in human form, like their first day on earth. I don't know. It's it's weird. It's a weird feeling, but it's also very wholesome and just kind of like kind of spiritual. You, I don't know if you guys can hear. She's crying. Yeah. <laughs> but her cries are so husky. It's really cute. Yeah. We were kind of afraid because we all live together that like we'll have a hard time sleeping if she cries. But her voice is so husky and like mild. It's not piercing to the ears. You know, some babies is like. <laughs> it's really cute. I get nervous, you know, like when your child cries and there's people living in the house or the people near you. Mm-hmm. I'm like, 
<laughs> like trying to change her diaper, everything, trying to calm her down. She's just so cute. I love her. But no one complains, so. I feel yeah, like it's not that bad. Okay. <laughs> it's really not that bad. Honestly, you guys, I know I always say this, but you guys don't understand. Ever since I was young, I always said I want to be a cool auntie. And like, what are the chances that my younger sister gets pregnant before me? Right? I'm legit the cool auntie. It's what I always wanted. Yeah. I can't wait until you guys can start like going out together and stuff. Because right now she's mm. still, she's one month today. No, yesterday. Mm -hmm. She just hit one month. So, yeah. I can't wait. We're going on auntie dates. I feel like I have so much to update you guys on. Mm -hmm. My birth was not what I expected. Oh, yeah. So many twists and turns. I feel like if you're pregnant right now, just keep in mind... You might have a birth plan, but it will not always go accordingly. So keep Just that in mind. Just expect the unexpected. Mm -hmm. Be mentally prepared, right? Mm -hmm. I'm scared, you guys. I'm scared to have a child. Dude, I really thought in the labor room that something was wrong. I thought, honestly, I thought she died. Mm -hmm. No, because they didn't let me do skin to skin with her right away. They just took her immediately. Mm -hmm. I got like her anxious. Mm -hmm. In the corner of my eyes, I saw like the doctors all whispering. I'm like, what happened? Like, where's my baby? And they're like, oh, the child doctor will come speak to you. Oh my god. You know how you know that makes serious. me? Yeah, I'm like, no, tell me. And they're like, Miss Chong, we're here for you. Your baby, the child doctor will come speak to you. I was like, oh my gosh, something's wrong. I was like, oh my gosh, she's not, I bet she's like not alive right now. Mm -hmm. Something's going on. Yeah, yeah. They don't want me to freak out because yeah. I'm like in the middle, my belly is still cut, you know? But did you see your insides? No, <laughs> I always wonder that. There was like a something covering between. You didn't see like your intestines and stuff. No, even Angel didn't see it. Oh, but he said he kind of saw it on the reflection of the doctor's glasses. Oh my gosh! It was just like blood everywhere. I'm so oh sorry, my guys. Gosh. I'm saying this while we have spaghetti. Like <laughs> this probably looks like my insides. <laughs> but you know, like we're kind of like we can talk about nasty stuff while we eat. Yeah, but I don't know if type, but other viewers, people are different. Yeah. I'm so sorry. I'm sure a lot of you guys are eating as you're watching so i'm sorry if this makes you lose your appetite i don't know if you guys have any questions that you want me to address then just comment down below i feel like a lot of our viewers are actually expecting mothers or already mothers yeah, yeah i was see a lot of mommy comments yeah mm -hmm. makes me so thankful and blessed i feel blessed that i have an audience to relate to yeah what about me comment down if you're a cool auntie <laughs> <laughs> yeah unfortunately shay can be part of the labor because i think i was only able to have one other person yeah because of corona yeah because of corona yeah. unfortunately but it's good that you didn't come because i was in the hospital for like four days oh yeah that's true i just told her like just call me text me mm -hmm. if we have any of these left we can give to angel mm -hmm. he'll gladly be eating it it's funny because my appetite changed so much following pregnancy i know she doesn't want sweets anymore yeah i don't want any more sweets guys like my mind isn't like shut off from oreos i was such an oreo freak i lost 35 pounds following pregnancy wow see and she was like tripping out saying like honestly there were some comments though of people saying like you gained weight and stuff and i was just like trying to like hide those comments because <laughs> she is so paranoid about that but she lost a lot of weight I gained so much, that's why I still have a long way to go to get to my pre-pregnancy weight, but I can't really watch my diet too much because I'm breastfeeding. So maybe within time. Right. Not in a rush. Do you feel like you see yourself in Mila? Not yet. <laughs> the only thing that I do see, however, is the fact that she likes sweets and spicy food and that she likes hip-hop music like me. Oh my gosh, I play 50 Cent and she stops crying. See? <laughs> Flesh and blood! <laughs> I mean, baby's faces change as they get older, so I don't really know. Like, some days she looks like you, some days she looks like Angel. Some days like she looks like me. Just she looks so much like Angel. And everyone tells me, oh my gosh, she looks just like Angel. I kind of she get does. jealous. She does. I get jealous. She just have more. I just have more. <laughs> Keep trying the Keep trying genetic pool out. lottery. Mm hmm it's funny how you give birth and the first thing people ask you is like, when's your second? I'm I like, oh, cool, your horses. But for sure, my next kid, I feel like I want in like four years. So make sure that you have a kid in four years, okay, Annie? So they could so, be friends. you guys, I was telling her that I wrote my five-year plan. <laughs> <laughs> because 
I'm turning 28 this year. I'm turning 28 in like two weeks. No, wait, in one week. And it's starting to make me realize like my time is like ticking now. I definitely want to enjoy like one to two years of marriage just with my husband alone. Mm. So if I get married by 30, I can enjoy two years, 32. I can have a baby at 33. But thing is, I want three kids. And I want them two to three years spread apart. Oh, so you're going to have them to like 38, 39. Exactly. So then my firstborn will be 18 when I'm 51. So yeah, I've been writing all that down and I was like, oh my gosh. Like, <laughs> I need to start planning this out. Like, women, we actually need to plan it out. Not that it's actually going to go that way, but you know. But once you plan it accordingly, then it might happen. It might, yeah. yeah. At least I have a clearer vision of what I want in the next five years. You didn't have this kind of mindset before. Is it because Mila's here now? I think so. Yeah. Because in the beginning, I was just like, eh, kids happen, happen. Like, I definitely want kids, just not now. And now that I'm being more open to, like, dating, it's starting to make me realize I need to date with purpose. Like, I need to date with seriousness because... Your next boyfriend can be your husband. Exactly. Mm. And it's possible that I can get married after, like, dating someone for, like, six months. That would be nice. I don't mind. Like, if I know you're the one, I'll marry you right away. Yeah, if you know them, what's the point of waiting? Right. So I have two years, guys. <laughs> two years. But who knows? We'll see. Maybe God might have different plans for me. All right, y'all. Taking applications. Chimichanga <laughs> sisters on Instagram. DM me. I'm gonna look through. I'm dead. But I am kind of seeing someone right now. So we'll see where it goes. Who? The other guy I was telling you about. I mean, she ha he hasn't met her yet because we just started dating. It's been like a month. So we'll see. Oh, so that's but. why you be coming home late. I, hmm. the I need to meet this guy. If you're watching this and you're the guy that she's meeting, uh -huh. if it gets serious, I'll introduce you to him. Okay. I'm very old fashioned. Like, I will not introduce just a random guy that I went a couple days with to my family. Like, why? What is the purpose of doing that? You know? Yeah, only when you know. Yeah, sure. only when you know. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm getting full. Me too. We got a lot of food. We got a lot of food. It was cheaper to get, like, all of this. Yeah, there was, like, a itself. sampler deal. Mm -hmm. mm. I'm definitely not having the same appetite as before because I would have downed all of this. That's true. You're only feeding yourself now. Yeah. Do you know what's crazy? Whenever I eat something or drink something, I feel milk making. Like, really? Really? <laughs> yeah. The, oh, That's no, funny. Why do you always hit me? Don't... Yeah, don't do that to the guy that you're meeting right now. Da, 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 da. Don't do that to the guy you're meeting right now because <laughs> honestly, like I hate when girls hit because oh my god. I don't. I don't hit him unless he says something really like stupidly funny. Your hands are kind of taggo. Is that? Yeah. Is that? <laughs> <laughs> honestly, I'm so tired. So everything's really funny. I know. To I'm me. kind of tired right now too. <laughs> honestly, you know when you're like. <laughs> What? <laughs> you know, like when you're kind of delirious and then everything's just kind of funny to you. Like, <laughs> oh no, I don't think it's because I'm eating this. I think it's because Mila's crying. I feel it. You're saying you feel your boob activating. Activating. Because you hear Mila crying. Yeah. It's like a sensor. I think it's a thing because when she cries, I check and it's like leaking. Does it smell like milk? <laughs> what the freak? You're a cow. No. <laughs> Angel tried it. He said it tastes like, he said it tastes like healthy milk. Oh my god. Healthy milk and vanilla milk. <laughs> he told me to try it. I was like, no. Bro. I did not need to know that. Well, he gets it on his hand. And... <laughs> it's very delirious and exhausted right now. Probably. You can use it for like your hair, your face. It's really good for you. Really? If I have some leftover, you want to use it? I must have showed you it. <laughs> <laughs> Let me Google this first. I'm kind of skeptical. People use it for facials. Would you use my milk for your facial? That sounds kind of funny. That sounds really weird. <laughs> <laughs> Dessert. Oh yeah. I never tried that. I actually want to try that. Me too. I'm really into like banana type of desserts. Mm. So. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Alright, so this is peach mango. Mm-hmm. Banana. Banana. Mmm. It doesn't really taste like banana. Oh, well, it tastes like plantain. Mmm. No? It tastes like banana. But it's not sweet. It's not sweet enough. Actually, it's kind of good that it's not too sweet. I'm telling you, it tastes like plantain to me. Mmm. Because, because it's not that. like sweet? Right, 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 right. Peach. 
Peach mango. This one is always good. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Peach mango is better. Mm -hmm. But I think ube is the best. Mm. Ube is the best. I didn't see ube on their menu. I didn't either. Peach mango is better. Mm. I'm sorry, mm -hmm. banana is not that good. It's okay. It's good. But maybe it's because we have the peach mango here. Yeah. I taste the drastic change in sweetness. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Good. Well, we have a lot of food for later. We do. Honestly, I know I'm going to be hungry after church. Oh, Mila's crying. I got a dip. Yeah. I'm so obsessed with her. Gosh, this feeling is indescribable. I'm not even gonna try to describe it with words. She's so cute. Like every little thing, even when she's just like moving her mouth, like, <laughs> oh, my heart is like, so cute. honestly, sleeping, crying, anything. Like even her like poops most cute. Okay, TMI. <laughs> okay, okay, sorry. Okay, guys, well, we're just gonna end this here. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. That like button, subscribe, post notification bell, ding. If you haven't already, make sure to go ahead and follow our TikTok account, join Instagram account, and we'll see you guys next week. We'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.